Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to take a look quickly, give my first impressions of two fragrances that were released recently. One being the Parfum version of Paco Rabanne's Phantom and the other being a new release, a new original release from the House of East Saint Laurent myself. I tested both of these fragrances all day on skin and I wanted to give you guys my first impressions. So I'm gonna jump right into it. Let's start with the Yves Saint Laurent scent. Now this scent seemingly came out of nowhere. I had no idea this was being released. Uh, and I, I guess once I sort of discovered it and found out that this was more geared towards um, men as a, as a new fragrance for them, I wanted to try it. If you guys have seen the ads for it, Austin Butler is the face of the fragrance. He played Elvis in the biopic, the recent biopic of Elvis Presley. I haven't seen that movie. Let me know in the comment section down below if it is worth seeing. But really quickly, I wanna read the notes of this scent. Calabria and Bergamot, Bergamot, Tunisian orange blossom, Ambro fix and patchouli. Now, my initial impression of this scent was really nice. I got some fruitiness up top, a little bit of woodiness. When this was first put on skin, it smelled masculine to me. It smelled like it had potential. I was excited, but then quickly it fell off a cliff. Maybe about 10 minutes in, I got this really off-putting floral, uh, synthetic body mist type vibe, which immediately just turn me off to it. I let my wife smell it. She got the same vibe and pretty much it didn't last very long on me. I mean, it, it had sort of that, again, that synthetic musky dry down on my skin. This scent is basic as hell. I just wasn't into it at all. Again, the biggest redeeming quality of the scent was up top when I first put it on. So to say I was disappointed would be an understatement. Again, I, I guess I didn't have a lot of expectation for it, but I respect Yves Saint Laurent and what they do. And I love a lot of their fragrances. Just this one was just for me, uh, no. Funny enough, I did get somewhat of a Ralph's Club Puff Fum vibe from this scent. And I own that fragrance and I just think it's so well done. It's a far better fragrance overall than this one. This has this clean aromatic feel to it. I know that the notes that are made available to us to see are limited, but there's definitely lavender in here. Has again, a, a clean aromatic vibe, but just what's too overdone in it is that probably that orange blossom giving me that sort of body spray, feminine leaning note, which again, I didn't like at all. So um, this is an easy pass for me. No question about it. I will probably revisit this scent in the not so distant future. I'll, I'll give it another shot. But again, uh, it doesn't really remind me of anything other than maybe some of those fruitier sort of Invictus -y type fragrances, just watered down, synthetic and just really disappointing from the House of E. St. Laurent. So let me know in the comment section what your experience with myself is if you've tried it just from me. It's an easy pass, but there is some redemption here. The other fragrance that I was able to try, the Paco Rabanne Parfum version of Phantom. Now, love that scent. Now I will say, again, I, I'm a fan of the original. So if you don't like the original, this isn't too far of a departure from the original. But immediately when I sprayed it on skin, I got a creamier, smoother version of the original more chocolatey the patchouli has all the edge taken away so whatever edge to that fragrance that was being conjured up by that patchouli which for me was a standout note in that scent added a lot of earthiness a little bit of smokiness but this fragrance has much more chocolatey patchouli vibes which i really liked i liked that element of it later in the dry down i got more vanilla so that vanilla chocolate combo was very nice. I wouldn't call this a gourmand fragrance, but it's teetering on that line. It does have some freshness to it. It doesn't have nearly as much freshness as the original scent does, which is what I like about that scent. So there's really good in sort of, there's aspects of the original I like more and there's aspects of the, the new Parfum version that I like more. Where I picture the Parfum version being worn is absolutely out in the evening. I think it would be ideal for an evening out, date night, just hanging. Uh, it's casual, but also a little bit sophisticated because of the sweetness here. It's not overly done. It's not overly sweet. It is going to remind you of other sweet fragrances 
with the same scent structure. So think your Invictus Victory, Elixir, uh, you know, the other, as I said, the other Phantom, uh, Phantom Legion, the original Phantom, it's gonna smell similar to those uh, in terms of sweetness. It's not quite as sweet as the Invictus Victory Elixir, but I, I think that's why it's a little more grown up, a little more sophisticated. I really, really like this one. A again, those aromatic notes, they're there. It's just, they're a little more, uh, they're not as projecting, they're not as bright. Uh, so don't expect this to be a bright fragrance. You're still gonna pick up those aromatics from the lavender. There's a, some spice, there's some fruity spiciness coming from cardamom, there's vetiver in there. So you're gonna pick all of that up and it's gonna lend to the earthiness. But at the end of the day, I pick up mostly the chocolatey patchouli, the vanilla, um, maybe some of the denser notes. So in terms of longevity, it lasted quite a while on my skin. It's a very high, possibility that I would I would be adding this to the collection. It wasn't something that I felt like I needed to purchase right then and there on first spray. I wanted to wear it for the day and really kind of experience it. But again, it will be something that I go back to again, test probably one, maybe two more times and then decide if it is full bottle worthy. For the purpose of this video, I wanted to give my first impressions of those two fragrances. I was most excited about the Phantom Parfum because I felt like they needed to uh, maybe change it up a bit. I liked the original, but this is probably the best in the line. This is the best version of Phantom that I've tried. And I like things about the original Phantom quite a bit. So those things will be missed, but there's just something about this one that just feels more complete, more uh, thoughtful, more done the way they wanted it originally. So take that for what it's worth. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If you've tried the new Phantom Parfum, if you have tried the new release from Yves Saint Laurent myself, would love to know you guys' thoughts on these fragrances. Drop it in the comment section down below. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.